So, hi everyone. Uh, today I'm gonna try to replicate the claims of um, Viktor Gorbachev, who said that uh, bear wings exhibit anti-gravitational um, effects. Uh, I think he mainly talked about a specific type of barrel that have like this shiny chromatic uh, opal like wings and we actually have that one in my region we call it mythos in in, in dialect um, in fact we have two sub species of that family not only one we have mythos and we have another one I never knew about until like one month or two months ago when it, when it landed next to my window here, uh, which is weird, you know. So, yeah, uh, I didn't catch it. I didn't want to try to make the replication uh, in a living creature, let alone one that seems to be ultra rare. So, what I did is try to find some dead barrels. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't find the chromatic one, the chromatic type one. Um, but, nevertheless, these two are actually somewhat rare. Well, not rare, but these two are actually seasonal, sort of seasonal in my region. This one is quasi rare. There is one that is common, but the ironic thing is that even though it's common, I didn't find that did one. There is like one, two, like there is a second one that is common, but not as common as the first one, but these two I didn't find any of them. Um, the second one looks like this one, the one I have here, actually, it looks actually like this one. Uh, there is another one I didn't find, it's a little bit seasonal, I think it's... Uh, we find it a lot in the time of spring and by the end of the spring, but, you know, the, the, the way the other one works is similar to this one, so anyway. So, these two actually are seasonal. We find this type a lot in um, honey bee combs, if you don't add honey is somewhat of um, not a dead weight anyway i forgot the english nomenclature anyway so there is this one it's seasonal the time of honey and we have that those honey becomes and so logically we will find this one this type it's only in my region in the summertime and obviously this is summertime so it's normal that we will find it Anyway, let's roll with the experiment. Pew! Now do what you need. Yes, let's see. One, two, three. Nope, nothing. So, sometimes people, when they see something like this, look, when they see something like this, they think that this is like exhibiting gravitational effects. No, it's not. What is happening is that the wing has this shape, like this um, concave shape or whatever. So, when we drop it on another wing, it slides, it slides, and it slides. That's all what happens. This isn't like, oh, it's not unstable gravitational thing or whatever. It just slides, you know? So, yeah. Uh, the thing is that I made some research on this guy, Viktor Grabenikov, and although he has this laboratory and this cool classical outfit and this like neat white beard and everything like someone living in a steampunk uh, alternate universe, although he has all of that, the more I dug into this story, the more holes I find in it, and the more 
um, like unstable and like the story doesn't hold you know so if the theoretical part of this experiment which is the story of what this guy did if the theoretical part has a lot of holes and a lot of like suspicious unsolved parts how would you expect the physical practical real life reality uh, of this experiment it will just have as much uh, as many as much of these holes so when i block out the bell wings i actually didn't expect that that much and doing this experiment just prove my point you know Nothing happens. It's just the curve. The curve that makes it slide and fall. Not that much. And to prove this point, I will do this. Look. Rook, rook, rook. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. It leads to all the four sides. Nothing happened. And nothing happened. So yeah, um, I will not say that uh, Mr. Viktor Grobnikov didn't have um, found, didn't find anti-gravitational effects in a specific type of barrel, but when it comes to these barrels, there is nothing. I don't know, maybe there should be some sort of specific um, parameters in the environment. So for instance, it's right now it's hot. It's summer, maybe I should do it in winter when uh, the environment isn't like, when the air isn't um, static, isn't uh, like, isn't dead or whatever. When there is more, more, more energy in the air, I don't know. Uh, but I don't think there is that much to work with when it comes to like, the hypothesis or like the myth about achieving anti-gravity anti -gravity using combination of barrel wings. I may be wrong, I don't know, but this is what my experiment has led to and I think I'm gonna stick with that um, conclusion until someone proves otherwise and on that note i will say to you have a good day and bye bye